coming off Freshenton fam. It's your big brother, Railboard Freshenton, aka Judah Riz, baby. And you're now tuned into another blog of soda, just my thoughts. Today I want to talk about, which I don't normally talk about, rapper deaths and this rap industry, you know. This just 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 in general, just gossip, right? Per se. And I felt a need because not only have I been requested to state my opinion on this, but a lot of our people, because these are the ones that are getting touched very, very, very young. We have Fulio from Florida recently. Damn, I if that was maybe a few weeks ago, if that much. And now rapper Tan the God. You see, social media has created a false narrative, meaning it's all about the clout. And we are living, especially the younger generation, like the rapper Tan, the gods, and the Fulios, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, where clout is currency. Clout is currency. And so they go and do the most outlandish things, like you may have Fulio rapping in front of his op's grave or whatever. And then you got Tanda God talking about, you know, smoking on her X pack and actually using her kill uh, her killing of her ex boyfriend as some sort of promotional tool. And the list goes on because it's been so many younger rappers, especially because this generation seems to be the most misinformed and least knowledgeable when it comes to what's really important in life, you know? And so I say all that to say this because they're just so young. I felt like I had to kind of just put this out there being, um, you know, just somebody who is older and could be some sort of a mentor to younger individuals who may be trying to create music or whatever art that they want to, but feel like, you know what, being myself isn't getting it. Let me acquiesce and try to just fit in and module my craft after a cookie cutter setup by the dominant white society corporations, because these are the individuals the individuals, sorry, who are controlling these narratives, pushing these narratives on these blogs, these record labels, etc. And I spoke before and I've posted evidence of what's pretty much insurance on rappers, okay? Rappers insurance. And, you know, I've, I've posted this, you, you just go and look at my page, where these labels will take out death insurance essentially on rappers, which is very, very, very side-eye-ish, very oppish, to say the least. But the most important thing that I really want to point out, and I don't want to take up too much of your time, is that there's life and death in the tongue. Scripture speaks about this. There's life and death in the tongue. I just did three million streams, even though I didn't really get paid for what I feel like Three million streams should really get paid for, but that's just another story. I just did three million streams, and I'm very meticulous with my craft when it comes to music. I touch on topics that I feel people, especially my people, can relate to, and all praises to the most high. I'm talented enough to be able to articulate it in a way where it's melodic, amongst other stuff. It's very much relatable. And so with that being said, I understand that what I say brings karmic repercussions. Karmic repercussions. There's life and death in the tongues. The Bible scripture talks about this. Just read my caption. Read the caption that I put in my post. And so I just want my youngins, my young kings, my YKs and YQs, my young kings, young kings, my ox, young ox, YAs, and young Akadis out here to understand that you don't have to acquiesce because it's only bringing death. 
You don't have to acquiesce. It's only bringing death. You don't have to acquiesce. It's only bringing death. I'm just saying, man. And these labels know what it is, and they're just manipulating you. These blogs know what it is, and they're just manipulating the craft. Don't fall for the hype. Don't, 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 don't believe the hype. Yeah, that's right. And that's all I want to say, man, because they over here manipulating our industry, getting all the money off of our streams, getting all the notoriety on their platforms, of our quote-unquote beefs. And they just instigate the Vlads, right? The Adam was the Adam Twenty One. This is whatever, you know. So let's not let's, let's not fall for any of that, man. We need to start pushing out more messages, which is why truth music is very much important. It's a it's a, it's a controlled narrative, a controlled craft that we are running because rap even though it's still controlled and ran by the streets i mean even though it's still controlled by the people it's ran by the dominant white society and this is why brewbot is up next it is what it is y'all gonna have to deal with that part you know what i'm saying that's a whole nother discussion brewbot is oh it's up next Three million streams accounting, but it ain't about me. This is about the message. And so with that being said, my young rap is coming up, man. It's probably best that really that you shouldn't even mess with these labels. But most importantly, I really want y'all to understand that when you do whatever for money, because you hear a lot of these, especially grown rappers, but, as, you know, of course, these young rappers, who, you know, it was going to be following the same message. This is what the people want. This is what the people want. And not realizing or understanding how radio promotion works. Radio promotion is literally legal hypnosis. Radio, playing songs on the radio is legal and national hypnosis. It is a psyop. It is psychological warfare. They're using that against us and at the same time trying to say that others have created it outside of our race. This is why they have to bastardize our craft and our industry so that it looks like, oh, look, they don't know what to do with it. But look what we did. We done sophisticated it. We done civilized it. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. With that being said, man, like I said, Billboard Fresherton, a.k.a. Judah Riz, man, we three million streams and counting amongst other stuff and revamping my sneaker line. Y'all need to just watch out, man, because Hebrews, we out here taking over, man. And this is why I do what I do, because it's time for us to show ourselves in a new light, in a new power. And we are the culture. We are are the culture and like Kendrick said they not like us and when I say they it's the dominant societies and so there's going to be a lack of respect for the historical creation of what it is that we are to say sorry that they're currently in these labels manipulating and with that I just want to say I appreciate y'all, Freshers and Fam, for really getting these, uh, getting my streams up. It's pretty surreal. I'm waiting on some plaques. We've been working on that right now, but this is just the beginning. It ain't about me. It's about the family. I love y'all, Freshers and Fam. Peace.